Hello, so we're taking a look at the nothing fancy animation that was added into Kinetic Text Animator in version 1.09. So what we found was that we needed an animation that was a little bit more basic. There's a lot of times when you need something that is just really simple, such as when you want to do a lower third, which we'll cover in a separate video. But I want to just quickly show you, I'm going to go ahead and just select something here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to also kind of dual purpose this by kind of showing you that uh, one of the neat things with the Nothing Fancy is you can kind of do the old video sales letter type thing. We've had some discussion on that on our Facebook board today, so I thought I'd go ahead and work that in here. You see here, I just pasted in this. I'm going to go ahead and select a, a font here. Uh, let's go ahead and use my standby favorite, Chunk 5. I like so much I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plunk that in there and then we can just animate that and you can see we've got that going on there now of course we have the grid option and um, I can come up here and uh, do that uh, here like this so I can apply that again and uh, there it's fitting in there and so I'm starting to have I got a fade in and a fade out and it's just not lasting long enough let's go ahead and make it last uh, long enough for us to actually read that maybe somewhere in the na neighborhood of eight seconds or so 8.5 works and uh, and you see there so I'm gonna go ahead I'm using the keyboard shortcut to zoom out here uh, that's a command or, or control uh, left arrow so that I can see this now what, the reason why I wanted to do that is um, once I've got this the way I, I like it I could go ahead and I'm noticing by there's a little bit of contrast problems there so I'm going to go ahead and, and select a different color. Let's do maybe a green and see what that looks like. Um, and so there we go. I'm happy with that. Uh, probably even if I'm not, I am for now. <laughs> and we'll move on. So I uh, wanted to show you I can go ahead and duplicate this block. And then I can come into my script that I had there. And I can copy the next sentence. And I could be making uh, animations very quickly this way. Um, paste that in. Uh, get it to animate in. I think there's a keyboard shortcut that I'll just go ahead and use that. And you could see how very quickly I could duplicate the next block, click on it, uh, come back to my script, copy and paste it. And I can do these old video sales letters if I wanted to. Now the cool thing is about this is this could be a great way for you to just go ahead and get all of your copy into your video. Uh, first and then uh, later on you could say well okay let's let's mix things up and you might say okay instead of doing that one now that I went, let's pretend that I've put all my animations in I can go back to this one and say ah you know I don't want it to all be that I could I would be boring my viewer so let's go ahead and make that um, sprinkled sonnet so first of all of course what I would need to do is make sure and go to this and copy that text right and then I would want to go to the sprinkled sonnet or whatever animation that I was going to do in its place and um, come in there and animate it and it would override it now if I did that I would probably have to do some moving around of timing uh, and everything that's not, that's not something that we could really make a whole lot of, of difference but wh when you are when you have things overlapping as we've talked about in other videos uh, whenever I have something overlapping, this one is currently behind that one. If I double click on this one, it will go to the back and now that one's up in front. So I can get a sense of how, where that ends and then I can take this one and move it and so forth. So uh, that's how you can work with that. Now let's just quickly uh, take a look at these animations. They are uh, pretty basic. We have the, we have, of course we have the font and the grid and all this stuff, font size and the vertical spacing for any uh, uh, there between the lines. Um, we have uh, left, right, and uh, uh, center justify and color, and, we, and, the, and, the, and a drop shadow uh, option, including the ability to have a variable transparency, which is uh, available right here. We have some pre options here for black as well. Um, and then we have uh, fade and zoom. Appear is just going to appear, so it's not going to do any kind of animation. It's just going to appear. This, uh, the effects are, are really not uh, really at, at all relevant. Uh, let's go to an animation that's actually using this. Um, and we, have, of course, we can come from the left, right, bottom, center, all those kinds of things. So if I, was, I did this example uh, that I was talking about, like a video sales letter, I could mix it up by just you know having it come and leave from different directions just to kind of keep it a little bit more interesting if I wanted to take the time to do that. Um, and then, of course, we have for the directional for, from left and, and uh, ex exit, we have these uh, options here. 
so uh, you can be, play around with these to get some uh, creativity as well. So um, you have this the speed of how fast it comes in, the duration of how long it lasts on the stage, and then of course uh, how fast it's going to leave. If you click on the leave on stage, it's really going to ignore these last options here. So um, that's pretty much the majority of this. Now, uh, if you, uh, as we talk about in the others, um, the animations, we I just mentioned the ability to kind of move these forward or backwards. So if I double click on this, now that's going to be behind that. But I can also right click or control click on it and I, I can move it to the back. And that's what these two options do. And we also have Z ordering, which means if I had uh, an animation down here, um, I could make it appear on top by right clicking and choosing one of these options. I'm not going to do that for this, but just wanted to let you be, make you aware of that. And that should pretty much help you get going with nothing fancy. And um, I just wanted to show you that uh, there's some pretty there's powerful under that hood, especially if you do things like want need to do something like the video sales letter. Um, uh, again, check out the separate video on how to use this for doing lower thirds.